Welcome to the Magician's Manor. My name is Jamal. Please come and have a seat. Today I'm going to do a quick video on Amberlyn, Amberlyn Reed and her most recent community post. It's very interesting and I want us to go over it real quick. All right, here we go. Two days ago, I can't imagine sitting next to someone I am in love with and have them fat shame a woman all while being big themselves. You can't preach about fat shaming but allow your partner to fat shame someone in front of thousands of people. Laughing about it is just as bad as making the comment yourself. I have only ever stuck up for Chantal when it comes to her weight, the shaming, the hate in her marriage. Hearing Salon make a fat joke and Chantal laughing afterwards while crying fat shaming is like a damn parody to me. Chantal, this is, isn't even about me at this point. Do you have respect for yourself? If Salah feels this way about me, do you ever wonder if he secretly feels this way about you? Now, I want to touch on a point or two. The first point is, I completely agree with her on the fact, like, how can you sit next to someone who's making fun of someone else over their weight when you yourself have been harassed online about your weight? That makes no sense to me. Also, if you're going to call other people out for fat shaming, bullying, harassing, you really can't sit next to your partner and allow them to do that without calling them out. I mean, that's hypocrisy at its finest, in my opinion. You know, if you're going to call one out, you call them all out. Plain and simple. I agree with Amberlynn on this next point. Laughing about it is just as bad as making the comment. Because if you're saying they're laughing, and I know people sometimes will laugh out of nervousness, but from what I understand, she was just like laughing as normal. And that's not cool because you take pleasure in someone else being made fun of and that's not good that's not right that's not fair you don't want it done to you so you shouldn't want to, you shouldn't sit there and let it be done to someone else and i have seen amberlyn stick up for chantal in the past when it comes to like you know the weight and the shaming and i think it comes from the fact that amberlyn herself has been through the same thing so she's like you know i it doesn't feel good when it's done to me so i'm not going to allow other people to do it to someone else whether i like them or not and i can commend that you know Yes, hearing Salo make a fat joke and Chantal laughing afterwards while crying fat shaming, that's not cool. I mean, you cannot like someone, whatever. It happens in real life on the internet. But you don't, you don't, how can I put this? You don't allow someone to make fun of someone on your behalf. Because I'm wondering, is he doing this just out of nowhere for no reason? Or is he doing this on behalf of Chantal? You can't, well, you know, say fat shaming and be against fat shaming while allowing Amberlynn to be fat shamed. It doesn't work that way, in my opinion. And she makes another good point, Amberlynn does. Do you have respect for yourself? Like, he's making fun of Amber for her weight. And y'all are pretty much in the same boat, Chantal. So therefore, how can you be okay with what he's doing? I, I I'm just confused about that. And then last point is, if Salah feels this way about me, do you ever wonder if he secretly feels this way about you? And that's a fair question, because generally when people poke fun at a group of people, they generally use, oh, how can I put this? How can I put this? Basically, if they're making fun of one person in a particular group, they're, for the most part, going to make fun of everyone who's in that same bucket. I mean, I don't think he's picking on Amber Lynn for fat shaming. Oh, like, oh, because she's fat. I think he has a certain opinion about fat people, overweight people overall. And that's really something to look at, um, being his partner, wife, girlfriend. You have to look at those things because if he's okay saying this about Amber Lynn, I mean, who's to say he's not saying it about you when you're not around? And that's something you have to take a hard, cold look at because if, this is if he's comfortable doing this like so openly, so brazenly. I mean, as I mean, it stands to reason that at some point he's going to say it about you in front of you. And I don't think you want that for yourself, Chantal. So at the end of the day, you can't control what other people say, but you can like stand up for it and say, like, you know what? Let's not do that. She did this the other day. Let's talk about this. But looks, body shaming, fat shaming. No bueno. No bueno at all. And if you continue to do this, I mean, people are not going to have any sympathy for you when someone else does it to you. Yes, you have been bullied. You have been talked about. You have been fashioned. I can, I, I've seen it and I don't like, I don't like it at all. But 
moving forward, if you condone his behavior, then you can't, you know, you can't disavow other people's behavior towards you. You can't complain about it because you're okay with him doing it. So you need to be okay with people doing it to you. That being said, that is all I have for today. Magician out.